Hello, my name is Patrick Butlin, and I'm here to show you, present my proposal video for my community service project to help with the recent COVID-19 outbreak called Help to You. It is a helpline that will be created that coupled several mediums so that people that have been affected by the recent COVID-19 outbreak can go there for help. These mediums will include phone call, in-person visits, as well as Zoom meetings. This meaning that no matter internet access, age, experience with technology or time restrictions, as well as hopefully restrictions placed upon you because of the lockdown, you still be able to get the help you need especially since these are troubling times. My target audience is anyone that has been affected, as many people have been, as a lot of people has lost jobs and have been staying home with only themselves as company. So everyone is a part of the people that can use this service, but I'm mainly focusing on the elderly as they seem to be one of the groups most affected as can be seen by evidence later on. I have catered for this by including a person-to-person -person meetup so that there would be precautions and restrictions as with lockdown, it would be possible for them, even if they have limited experience with technology, to still get the help they need. Uh, this is the evidence I talked about earlier. I ran a survey by word of mouth asking several people from different demographics and different age groups and I found that besides kids who thought they were just having a holiday, during the lockdown a lot of the older people wished they had someone to talk about the problems they were going through and that is why I decided to do this. Um, I further went into detail about this by talking to someone in my target demographic and talked about if they would be interested in this and what they would think of it. Budget, it would take roughly 10 grand to get this running initially. It It's normally 60 to $100 an hour for a psychologist, which would be running sessions and meetups, but it would be possible for this to be minimized by running off volunteer staff at the beginning or even just hosting Zoom meetings with patients as talking to you, other people about your problems who are going through the same thing can help. Financial aid. The 10 grand I have previously mentioned would be very easy to acquire with the new COVID-19 health plan, which has put $20 million into the mental health industry as the government has recognised the problem that I have and have addressed it by giving it more funding and it get, oh, this falls under a hotline which has been included in the plan. For local support, I have talked to my local, local chamber of commerce, they are happy to both support this and help publicise it if it were ever to happen. Now, this could be done for our local newspaper called the Gold Gossip which can be found in an analogue format or online, as well as schools, local schools recommending the service to children who look like they're struggling, as well as putting in social media so people know the option is there. Running it long term, I believe this would be relatively easy to do, as I've budgeted for this to run six months with 10 psychologists, and if it in that time it will have proved its worth and it would hopefully have helped many people and it would be able to get enough money to run it, either upscale it or to continue running at, at the same size to help more people.